Okay, everybody, we talked about the basic pattern for broken fluid six. I'll show you the way that works with a partner. Okay. So again, we'll break it down. We're going to do a number one, then number two. Now, what you'll notice, again, the ideal distance is that the, the tips should be touching. Okay, if I'm able to strike her down here, that's a hand strike. Okay. The other important thing to remember with double stick and single stick in bikini tertia, there are no blocks. Everything is a counter. So I'm not planning on hitting her stick. That's not my goal, except in this drill. What I'm hoping to do is as she swings, I'm going to be hitting her hand. Okay? Or in this case, I'm going to fake again and strike here. Or it could be up here. So this is the feint, she comes for it, and I go with my second strike, okay? Uh, and again, if you're at the proper distance, it's going to be hard to reach down here, so you have to extend and bend here, okay? and then come back, strike, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? All right. Let's go ahead and have everybody else do that. Give you a, an idea of what it looks like. To make this a little more fun, once you get the basics down, we add movement. Hey guys, move around. Different levels. High, low, kneeling, standing. Good. Okay, good. Time. So uh, that's a lot of fun. Now, it's often the first time um, our students get to actually work with a partner. Again, the benefit of this, um, because we are being nice and hitting the stick and not the hand, is you can go full out. You can go full power with these strikes. Um, that's why you'll notice everybody has tape on their strikes because this will uh, tear through a pair of sticks pretty easily, pretty quickly. Okay, so now we're going to go with fluid six. Okay. So again, this is a little more powerful. We're going to go here, one, all the way through, two, three. So remember the first one comes over the head without stopping. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. The other thing that's beneficial about these routines, very slowly, is in the street, she's... I'm not going to know what she's throwing. Okay, I don't know that pattern. I'm, not, I'm obviously not going to attack my cl classmate in the street. So she does the pattern, and I do something different, and she's going to hit me. She's hit me. Or I'll hit her. Okay, so if somebody screws up, I'm going to get hit. Okay? So the benefit of all the patterns that we do is to lock them into your muscle memory so they become instinctive. You can use them full power. And then just like a boxer, when you have to use them, you don't think about it. You just throw techniques, and somehow they're going to land on the ground, and you're going to go, wow, I hit them. All right, so let's get the partners again. We'll try this without movement. Yeah, you got to stay in there. So go ahead and begin. Fluid six. From the fluidity. It's not about striking as hard as you can, but being fluid, and that's what's going to give you your power. Okay, let's use movement on this. Good. Good job. Okay, 
So now today we've covered uh, the second movement of the double stick part of the Kitty Tertia, known as broken six, and it can also be done fluid, called fluid six. Um, it's a great pattern, a little difficult in the beginning, um, but it's very deceptive, uh, very powerful, and again, uh, later on you can switch it up so that you can go with a broken strike to begin with and then fluid and fluid, however you want to do it. There's a lot of variety here. Anyway, well, thank you for joining us. If you enjoyed this, please uh, like and subscribe. I'm Guru Jeff Kelly at Shilin Martial Arts in Corvallis, Oregon. Thank you.